Coming up, I'm gonna show you how to reskin an app the right way for optimal success. Stay tuned. What is up, App Nation? It is Steve P. Young, founder of AppMasters.com, the place you go when you want action-packed content in the app business. And today, I got a YouTube comment from Let's Get Lyrical, Lyrical. He asks, hey, I need some reskin advice. So I don't want to give you the blanketed advice that most people say, which is, Reskin's kind of dead, but it still actually does work. I'm gonna give you a technique that you can use to make it work for you. Here it is. It's called slice and dice. Now, I got this technique from a good friend of mine, David Reichelt, who created Color Switch, and he talked at our event and he really spoke about it. And here's the idea. You take an existing app, and you slice it and dice it with something different. Now I'm gonna give you the exact example. If you think about Color Switch, this was a slice and dice game. Now David looked at other types of apps. There was an app already out there called Flight that actually got featured by Apple in August of 2015. And so he looked at that game, he looked at a couple of different other ones like Doodle Jump, and kind of started thinking, okay, it's tap, things are moving up, and it's interesting. So if you think about Color Switch and Flight, they're very, very similar. But here's what he did. Instead of just reskinning the game, he looked at what other things he can implement into the game. And what he started seeing was he started getting inspiration from Uno, from Simon. You remember Simon Says, that game? So all these different colors too. And he saw with Uno, there's a wild card that allows you to change color. And he also looked at the Google, the Gmail, login screen and how that was changing color. So you started implementing, looking things around you and kind of slicing and dicing it and said, hey, I like this gameplay. I like the colors and the shapes. I wonder if I can use this similar gameplay and actually make it with color. And I think that was the most brilliant move because I've played both games and no offense to Kevin who created Flight, but I can see why Color Switch really, really took off. Besides the fact they had a great publisher, the gameplay was really, really sticky. Now, that publisher has gone on and created more, published more games, but nothing has been as popular as Color Switch. And I think the brilliance of Color Switch comes down to the simple mechanic of changing colors, right? Because it keeps it so much more engaging than just that simple gameplay. So that's the secret. You have to look at different apps that are already doing well in the app space, and how do you slice and dice? How do you think about other mechanisms that you can add to it that gives it a little oomph? And I'll give you one other example. If you think about Crossy Road. Now, my father-in-law actually looked at the game and said, that's Frogger. But if you really slice and dice it, it's a lot more. And from my interview with Matthew Hall, who made Crossy Road, he told us that he was inspired by Flappy Bird, how you can just die immediately. And if you play the original Frogger, you can see it's pretty hard to die and it's pretty bland. So he looked at 3D objects and he looked at, he was inspired by Flappy Bird and he saw that, hey, you can die once. So if you take too long, you're gonna eventually die. So it is this slice and dice. So once you start thinking about your games, look at what's already been popular and incorporate other things, other mechanisms. And it doesn't have to be other games. It could be something from the real world that we already do. So here's another method. If you like the slice and dice, here's another simple method. Okay. Take a popular game mechanic again and see where the hole is. Now I've worked with a couple of different clients who saw an existing game mechanism and actually sort of created this for a different market. Using ASO, he saw that there was keyword volume for this particular keyword, and he decided to create an app that matched that particular keyword using the game mechanism of an existing app. I hope that makes sense to you because I don't wanna reveal the client and who it was, but what you can do is do a ton of keyword research, figure out if there's a hole in the market, and use that keyword research and build a game around that keyword and existing game mechanism. Now, I will tell you this game is very similar to Diner Dash or 
cooking fever and he saw a different type of niche that was around the cooking sphere and decided to call it da -da -da something else. I apologize for being a little bit secretive here, but I don't want to reveal too much for the client, but they've done phenomenally well. They've been featured on Pocket Gamer and they said, hey, this is going to be the supercell of India. But those are the two methods that you can use to reskin apps the right way for optimal success. If you're enjoying these videos, make sure you hit subscribe. And if you've got a question for me, definitely leave a comment below because I am reading through all the comments. I'm enjoying so many good feedback from you guys. And I will start creating and continue to create these videos just for you. All right, until next time, I'll see you on the next video. If you wanna check out David's great presentation from one of our very first events, make sure you hit that top video up there. And if you wanna see how I do ASO for a Diner Dash type of game, well, check out the bottom video right there. Peace out.